Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. Reading today, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I want to begin reading in verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the traditions just as I delivered them to you. <clears throat> but I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ, the head of woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. God the Son is not or ever has been inferior in any way to God the Father. But God is a God of order, and somebody has to drive. When God the Son became a man, he yielded himself to the Father's will. God has created a hierarchy of leadership in the home that follows the order of the hierarchy in the Godhead. And just as the Father leads the Son, then the husband is to lead his wife as he allows himself, of course, to be led by Christ. Then both the father and the mother are to lead the children. You see, if the chain of command is kept, everything goes smoothly because it's orderly, it's in the will of God. If the chain of command is broken anywhere along the line, it creates an escape clause for those under it. If the husband starts behaving contrary to Scripture, the wife should not follow him. If the parents start behaving contrary to Scripture, the children should not follow. God is always at the top of the hierarchy, and therefore he must be obeyed no matter what anyone below him does or how they may lead. If they lead unbiblically, then they should not be followed. That's why preachers, pastors, who are in that hierarchy as well, if they don't teach the pure word of God, if they tell you to do something that is contrary to Scripture, if they go beyond what is written and try to exercise authority that God has not given them because the only authority anybody has is the written word of God, then they should not be followed. I had a preacher one time, pastor, when I was just, what was I, maybe a year old, year and a half old in the Lord, very young. I didn't know a whole lot. <clears throat> but when I when I had a pastor, the pastor of the church I was attending, we were down in the basement talking. It was an old stone foundation type basement in a very old church. And he pointed to the stairs, and they were narrow and dark, and he said, Mike, as your pastor, if I command you to jump down those stairs backwards, I expect you to do it. And I thought, well, sayonara, because I don't see anywhere in the Bible where you have the authority to do something like that. It is incredible, the power trips that some people are on. That's out of line, and you don't have to obey that kind of nonsense. You obey as those above you obey God, period. That's it. Okay, study all of God's word with me. That way you'll become familiar with what's in the Bible, and you won't be led astray by power-hungry people and anybody else, cults, isms. You'll know when something comes up that's not biblical. Study God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com to be a part of Scripture verse by verse and coffee break. Pray for me and God's Word. Please do it right now while you're thinking about it, before you forget. Thank you. Appreciate it. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible verse by verse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead, because that also makes you a part of this ministry. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Until next time. Michael Moret for Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse. So long, everyone.